Is your motor running? Well, you better catch it. Or better yet, get yourself a motor control capacitor. And while you're shopping for that motor control capacitor, you'll want to make sure that it's been robustly tested, doesn't have any defects, and is current with all of the latest codes and standards. Maybe you should consider getting your motor running over to Heartland Controls. Hi, I'm Amelia Dalton, host of Chalk Talk. If you're working on a mission-critical design, there is a very important list of requirements that you will need to consider when you're looking at your electromechanical controls, including how well they have been tested, availability of inventory, and most importantly, the quality of components. In this episode of Chalk Talk, John Sathoff from Little Fuse joins me to discuss mission critical electrical controls from Heartland Controls. John and I dig into the details of the variety of electromechanical solutions offered by Heartland Controls, the benefits Heartland brings to the table when it comes to mission critical designs, and how you can get started using Heartland Controls for your next design. And before we get started, don't forget to click that link. There you can find even more information about this topic from Little Fuse. Hi, John. Thank you so much for joining me. Absolutely. Thank you. Okay, so we're talking about mission-critical electrical controls today. But, John, before we get started, we're highlighting Heartland controls here, right? And they're now part of Little Fuse? That's correct. Uh, acquisition earlier this year by Little Fuse of Purchase Heartland Controls, adding our core products to their offering and expanding their footprint into the HVAC market. Fantastic. Now, John, what's all included under the Heartland Control umbrella? We have four main product categories, uh, definite purpose contactors, fan control relays, motor run capacitors, and class two transformers. We do expand upon that uh, slightly. Uh, we also have a whole home generation transfer switch that we manufacture. Excellent. Can we talk about that first point on your last slide, trusted performance? What all is included here? So Heartland Controls, previous to the acquisition, started in 2001, and there's some key components that have made us very successful in our industry of HVAC and refrigeration. So what we'd like to do at all times is keep 90 days finished goods inventory on the shelf. What that allows us to do is quick pick and ship of customer orders. We only ask for three to seven days from the time that the purchase order is received to the time that we ship the product. So earlier you mentioned high quality standards. John, what does that look like in practice? So at Heartland Controls, we've always had a zero defect mindset. Our large HVAC OEMs require us to maintain a very low part per million defect rate. If I had our director of quality sitting in front of you today, he would want to talk through the quality umbrella that also encompasses every aspect of our business. So not only do we maintain a very high quality product that we ship to our customer base, but everything from the time a customer issues a purchase order to the time they receive that product, that's considered a quality process for us. So we like to do everything that we can to make sure that transaction is very smooth and that we're able to get the product in the customer's hands very quickly. Okay, great. So where are the Heartland Controls facilities located? So our global headquarters is in Rock Falls, Illinois, about 100 miles straight west of Chicago. Then we also have our manufacturing facility in Shanghai, China. Excellent. Now, what about that zero defect mindset you mentioned earlier? Can you explain that a bit more? Yes. Our quality process has always been a zero defect mindset. So we deal with electromechanical switching equipment. So there's always a possibility for a defect in a single piece. We like to push out our products with the lowest DPME part per million failure rate possible. Large HVAC OEMs require us to have 100 part per million defect rate or below, which is very difficult to maintain, but we continuously do that. Okay, so John, you guys are staying within current industry standards and codes, right? 
Absolutely. We have an entire engineering staff that is always working on projects within UL, CSA, and SEMCO. They guarantee that our products are going to meet the standards set forth for our DP contactors, Class II transformers, motor run capacitors, fan control relays, and they are very good at staying up to date on new policies within these agencies. Okay, so John, what kind of testing capabilities are we looking at here? We 100% test our products before they ship from our Shanghai facility. And when we talk about our testing capabilities, it's more in line with our engineering lab in Rock Falls, Illinois. We can test our products for mechanical life or electrical life. We have environmental chambers that we can put our products into and test them at sub-zero temperatures or elevated temperatures. We also have thermal imaging cameras to test for hot spots or where we could have high resistance joints in our electrical connections. We have high-speed cameras that we can dissect our mechanical devices and watch them perform. So, for instance, we can cut a contactor in half, and with a high-speed camera, we can film the contacts and look for any contact bounce, which would create excess arcing. Okay, great. Now, John, can we get into the details about the Heartland Control solutions you guys offer? So, our core product offering has been the definite purpose contactors and auxiliary switches that go along with them. We also offer fan control relays, which is very similar to a definite purpose contactor. Motor run capacitors and miniature circuit breakers, as well as class two transformers. So John, you mentioned definite purpose contactors. So where are these kind of contactors used? Our primary use for definite purpose contactor is in residential and commercial HVAC or refrigeration applications. The size of that market is just colossal compared to other market sectors that we sell our DP contactors into. Outside of HVAC and refrigeration, we sell into food and beverage, water and wastewater, welding, pool and spa, and also electric vehicle charging applications. Great. So, John, can we get under the hood of these contactors a bit? Yeah, and if you look at these images on the screen, what you're looking at is actual cross-section of the silver contacts within a contactor. So there will be a top and bottom contact that make and break every time power is sent to the coil of the contactor. And what we've done is we've cut the contacts in half, potted them in a solution, and we polish them to take pictures under a microscope. So you're looking at that side cross section. And what you're seeing is our competition has a ununiform and inconsistent layer, very thin layer of silver across the top of the contact. The image of the Heartland Controls cross section will show a very uniform and thicker silver on the top of that contact. And what that does is every time a contactor makes or breaks in an application, meaning the switched on or off, the contacts are going to arc. And every time you have a little bit of an arc between the contacts, you're going to lose some silver content. In end-of-life situation on these contactors, the way that they're designed is when that silver is completely gone, you've come to a copper-on-copper situation, and they weld, meaning the contacts will no longer break and it will no longer cut the power away from the application. Okay, cool. Now, you also mentioned motor run capacitors. So can you give us a rundown on the solutions here as well? Yes. So we specialize in motor run capacitors, and basically anywhere in an HVAC or refrigeration application or any of the other industries that we mentioned, where there's a motor used, there's generally a motor run capacitor that goes along with it. Uh, We sell millions of these into the industry, into replacement components for our HVAC OEMs. Okay, so can we look under the hood of these capacitors as well? What sets them apart from other similar capacitors? Yes, so a motor run capacitor is not a mechanical device. If you had a Heartland Controls capacitor and our competition sitting next to each other on your desk, you really couldn't tell which one is higher quality. That's why we'll do these dissections of our 
of our competition parts as well as show construction analysis of the Heartland Controls capacitor and the differences that make our product a higher quality OEM preferred capacitor. Uh, we manufacture our own Mylar film which is a thicker more consistent film to help reduce heat and heat is what kills a capacitor or causes it to meet end of life situation. We also have built into our construction safeguards around that mylar film log. So you will see in the images a Nomex sleeve that surrounds that mylar film log and then there's also a plastic cup that supports that film. So if the can is ever dented, you will not short out the mylar film log. Okay, cool. Now let's also talk about those HCT series transformers a bit. Uh, what are we really looking at here? Absolutely. So we focus on class 2 designs, which means secondary voltages are below 30 volts, typically 24 volts for your control circuit, a power, a thermostat, etc. So what we do is we take line voltage 120, 208, or 240 commonly, and it's a step-down transformer. So the primary voltages can be that of line voltage 120, 208, 240, etc., and it steps that voltage down to 24 volts. Okay, now you also mentioned relays. So lastly, can we chat about those solutions a bit as well? Yes, yeah, so we typically fall under the category of fan control relays. The majority of the relays that we sell are very similar to our definite purpose contactors. The only difference is, is their ratings are a lower amperage. We also have a 30 amp resistive relay, very similar to a T92 industry standard relay. It's called our Type 1 relay. Uh, this is heavily used in resistive or electric heat applications. Great. Now, Let's talk about the applications here. What kind of applications would these solutions work well for? 75% of our customer base is HVAC or refrigeration, and that's just because of the colossal size of those markets. We also play very heavily in overhead garage doors, water or wastewater in agricultural instances. We also supply products into welding industries, commercial water heating applications, electric vehicle charging, as well as pool and spa. Excellent. So if my audience needs more information about Heartland Controls, where should they go and what kind of resources do you guys have for them? You can go to our website, heartlandcontrols.com. That's H-A-R-T-L-A-N-D, so no E, controls with an S, dot com, where you will find our industrial controls catalog with our products and part numbers, as well as a couple ebooks on capacitors and contactors to break down some of the differences between Heartland Controls, high quality OEM preferred products, and our competition. Well, John, I think that's all I have time for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Yes, and thank you. And before we go, you didn't forget to click that link, did you? There you can find even more information about this topic from Little Fuse. For Chalk Talks, I'm Amelia Dalton from eejournal.com. For more Chalk Talks, check out the Chalk Talk section of EE Journal. You can't miss it. It's right across the top. Or head on over to YouTube, youtube.com slash eejournal.